Hi, welcome to another video. So, there's a new model on LM Arena that is claimed to be a new and even better version of Gemini 2.5 Pro, or it could also be Gemini 2.5 Ultra, and this model is called Night Whisper. Actually, there are two models. One of them is claimed to be 2.5 Flash, and the other one can either be a new version of 2.5 Pro or 2.5 Ultra. Today, I'm not talking about the 2.5 Flash 1. Instead, I'll be focusing on Night Whisper. Night Whisper is supposed to be a new model by Google. It can be a stable and better version of 2.5 Pro or can also be 2.5 Ultra. The responses are very similar to the 2.5 Pro model, which makes me believe that it can be a new and stable version of it. It is claimed to be from Google because they generally name their models with names that are in the territory of space and stars. So, this is pretty much a Gemini model. This new model is extremely good at coding, similar to Gemini 2.5 Pro, and it is actually even better than that in most of the cases, which is kind of awesome because 2.5 Pro was already great, and now this is great too. Now, I have tested it on all my 13 questions, so let me show you the results. The first question was, tell me the name of the country whose name ends with Leah along with the capital city, and it passed it quite easily. It doesn't show the reasoning traces because Gemini doesn't show that in the API requests. Anyway, the next question was, what is the number that rhymes with the word we use to describe a tall plant? The answer to this is generally three. You can see that this is also correct. The next question was to write a haiku, where the second letter of each word, when put together, spells simple. It did this quite amazingly. And this was also a pass, which is kind of great. So... The next one was to name an English adjective of Latin origin that begins and ends with the same letter, has 11 letters in total, and for which all vowels in the word are ordered alphabetically. The answer should be something like transparent, and this is correct, because it gave the correct answer, which is kind of awesome for sure to see. I mean, it's just great to see. The next one is this pattern recognition question, for which the answer is generally 1999, and this is also correct, which is quite awesome as well. Some quite big models are unable to answer this correctly, whereas this is able to do it quite well. The next one is the question that I have two apples, then I buy two more. I bake a pie with two of the apples. After eating half of the pie, how many apples do I have left? The answer should be two, and it also gave the same answer, which means it's correct. So, that's great. The next one is, Sally is a girl. She has three brothers. Each of her brothers has the same two sisters. How many sisters does Sally have? The answer should be one, and it again gives the correct answer, which is great to see. So, that's great. The next one is a mathematical question that asks, if a regular hexagon has a short diagonal of 64, what is its long diagonal? Answer in integer or decimal. The answer should be 73.9 comma, and the model also had the correct answer as expected, and this is actually quite amazing for sure. The next ones are the coding questions. The first one is to ask for Create an HTML page with a button that explodes confetti when you click it. You can use CSS and JS as well. I ran it on Web Dev Arena, which also has this model, which means that you could directly generate React apps with it and try out its coding capabilities. And it obviously nailed this one as well. You can actually see 3.5 haiku beside it, which is quite bland whereas this is quite spicy and great with some good-looking components and better animations, which is quite awesome. 
The next one is create a playable synth keyboard using HTML, CSS, JS. And I again ran it on Web Dev Arena, and it was also amazing. It looks so great with all the features that you'd ever want, and it makes the correct sound and everything like that, which is quite amazing for one shot generation. I really like this over probably all the generations I have seen yet with other models. All the stuff is placed correctly and everything. The next one was generate the SVG code for a butterfly, and it again nailed this. It is probably one of the best butterfly generations yet. It's really very good. Even the wings have patterns in them with different colors and everything. You can also change the colors of the butterfly and everything like that, which is kind of awesome. The next one is, write a Python program that shows a ball bouncing inside a spinning hexagon. The ball should be affected by gravity and friction and it must bounce off the rotating walls realistically. And when I ran the answer given by it, it again nailed it, and it works extremely well. The ball bounces off correctly, and it's just awesome. Then, the next and final question was, write a game of life in Python that works on the terminal. And it again gave the correct answer. And when running it, it worked extremely well with borders and everything like that which is extremely good to see. This model is kind of amazing, especially in coding. It is very similar to Gemini 2.5 Pro, although it's even better at coding. Some people say that this can also be a Gemini coder model based on how good it is, but I think that this must be a high reasoning variant of Gemini 2.5 Pro, or it can also be the Gemini 2.5 Ultra as well because it's generally a more post-trained version of Pro. So, this is quite possible. I like this model, and the Gemini team is not stopping. They are smashing it with their new launches for sure. 2.5 Pro is literally the best model. The only thing that they need to do is remove the excessive rate limits and make it more accessible in applications. That should be amazing. I really like how their models are becoming state-of-the-art because their flash model was really good for the price, but it was never the state-of-the-art, whereas this is beyond state-of-the-art. Let me know what you guys think about this new model, and you can share your testing results in the comments as well. Please subscribe to the channel and share your thoughts as well. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!